again, it's your girl Cash. I'm back at it with a new. That's not it. <laughs> what up, again? It's your girl Cash. I'm back at it with some new content. It is Sunday, and I am doing a Sunday clean. Um, I am going grocery shopping. Um, I am grocery shopping, but a lot of people ask me how do I stay healthy or how do I stay fit during the um coronavirus during the quarantine and honestly um i'm not being healthy i don't meal i have not meal prepped since we got out of work from since we started work from home let me turn my light on and um and i have been lazy but i have maintained a good eating habit a good eating regimen um as you can see i am cleaning up my freezer so before we hop into this video, please comment, like, and subscribe to my channel. And if you are a newbie, please leave a comment and I will show your page some love. All right. So first things first, before you go grocery shopping, you need to clean out your freezer and your refrigerator, which mine is definitely not clean. Um, and then you make a list in the process of why you're cleaning out or putting it back in the freezer, what you would like. Um, as you can see, I have everything out majority of this stuff is going back in the freezer i just had to clean it out and i normally clean out my freezer with hot water bleach cleaner bleach cleaner and i got that from walmart it's like 97 cent um i clean it out real good and then i just place everything that i want back in the um yeah i'm fighting with nets this summer i don't know what's going on but i don't like it um but i can just show y'all a few things that i do keep in my freezer um always keep a protein in your freezer um whether it's chicken breast turkey meat vegan meat um i have another protein i stay with chicken because i love the crock pot a lot of my things um and i do have a couple other things um beefless ground and veggie burgers so i do kind of keep it lean in my freezer as well as my refrigerator i mainly keep fruit but i'll show y'all my refrigerator later um and i also have some you know craving i'm um, not craving but what's the word satisfying foods like vegetable dumplings that was something new i tried um oh here's another protein that i eat okay shrimp i keep shrimp in there too because that's a really good protein but pretty much the only unhealthy thing or satisfying thing that i do eat is dumplings and of course if i'm craving something sweet i get italian ice um other than that that's pretty much it on the top is my little pantry because my apartment didn't come with a pantry i normally keep snacks chips and cookies in there for my um honey because he kind of eats whatever he wants because the job he has he's always moving so he really doesn't have to lose weight you know how that be when men can eat some doritos and don't gain no weight but we eat some doritos and we a whole 150 pounds a lot heavier but that's just another conversation for another day um but yes i am going to place this stuff back in my freezer what i'm going to keep i already threw majority of the things away um also what i do keep in my freezer is fruit um, these little bags are like one eighty nine at uh, Walmart. I normally get the little bags because my refrigerator, as I stated, I stay in an apartment, so it's not like the big industrial freezer that you have in the house. Um, I also keep frozen veggies like these, something I can easily just put in the microwave. Being working from home and working the second job, it's easy for me on a Sunday when I do meal prep, pop it in the microwave, put it in the containers, and be ready to go for the next three or four days. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and. Put this stuff back in the freezer. Um, I need to take a shower. I just finished the hour workout, but I wanted to go ahead and clean this out, kind of cool down, then get in the shower because I don't like to get in the shower sweaty in hot water because you're going to still sweat. But um, yes, yeah. so let me put this stuff back in the freezer and I'm going to holler at y'all later. So much later that the old narrator got tired of waiting and they had to hire a new one. What's up, y'all? So I am like, one, two, three. What is going on with this? Great. Like, I just can't get it. Okay. I am like four days past the first video, and I'm just now completing my grocery shopping so I can finish showing y'all my refrigerator. And I gotta go in Walmart. If you know me, you know I hate Walmart. Like, I hate Walmart. So, 
and I'm finna go in here also because I gotta start looking and start narrowing down things for my home, my new home. Um, so it's time crunch time. So today is my last day of spending endless money. Um, because oh my god you know um, so shout out to this couple on youtube who just bought their first home like nine months ago not just bought it but nine months ago they had bought a home and they're doing this 50 30 20 rule um i think a lot of people do the 50 30 20 rule but um i'm not about that homeless man so much today but um so today is my last day spending money on just you know materialistic things if it's not something that i need I won't be paying, no, I will not be spending my money, okay? Um, but I'm gonna go with Walmart. I hate the new way of Walmart. It's Everything is self-checkout, but you gotta pay with card. And if you don't have a card, you gotta have the exact cash for your items, because they don't wanna give change back because money is the most germ, germ what is it, germiest thing? So, it just be long, tedious lines for what? But I'm gonna go in here, because all I need is three cans of tuna, a box of honey cornbread because today I want to make oh uh, y'all thought y'all could just walk across the road while you smoke your cigarette I'll wait I'll let you do that but anyway um oh god come on I mean I feel like once these people put their mask on they go dumb but anyway um I just gotta go in here and get three cans of little tuna and um this notepad I need, some markers, some honey cornbread, because I want um, beans and weenies today. And I bought me some new meatless hot dogs, so I'm gonna sh show y'all. I think that this week I had a bunch of calls. I think I'm gonna come on my little lady. I think she's trying to hop on in here real quick for the one time, for the one time, why, I don't know. But I've been eating a lot of carbs lately, and am I part too close? Because the niggas crashed my car, it's going down. All right, so. I'm gonna try these new um, weenies and then I got some vegetarian vegetarian bush beans, which is basically fat-free beans. Um, and I'm gonna try, I'm gonna I'm dine in tonight. Oh, honey cornbread. Some beans and weenies. A cup of wine and some fruit. Yes, that's it. I don't wanna do nothing too big because I had Olive Garden yesterday. That jumped in my stomach hurt. I also got to go to Ross and get me a detox because all this got to get gone today, tonight. Tomorrow I need to be on the toilet for sure. And I got to get some markers and I got to get um a notepad, the big one that stick on the wall. I'm going to get that too because I got to start. I got to focus. I got four months to get right. My money right. I just got to get my mind right. Got to narrow down to the last little bit of things. And we're gonna go from there. So I'ma holler at y'all when I get home because I don't like to record in Walmart. These people in here is crazy. And I'ma holler at y'all. What's up y'all? So I am back. Um I went to the grocery store and I wanted to go ahead. As you can see, I got my family on Zoom. We met some new people from my grandma's side. Um, but I wanted to hop right into the video of the food that I got for my refrigerator. And I wanted to show y'all how I, what I buy when I go to the grocery store. I normally go to the grocery store two times a month, three times a month, depending on what I meal prep and what I eat. And I wanted to go ahead and show y'all what I get or how to stay healthy during the quarantine, halfway healthy, because I'm not all the way healthy. Um, so, as you can see, oh, as you can see now, it's slightly clean. Um, that hold on wait hold on y'all okay, that's better okay so this is not mine i keep fruit in here more fruit yogurt lettuce i need to put in a plastic bag because i opened it up to cut some salad um that is some um, cauliflower mash and that is my chinese food that i got from the hibachi place And um, so now I'm recording. I got my family over here looking crazy. Hold on, y'all. So I am making a fat-free beans and sausage combustion with some um cornbread mash. And cornbread mash is just the honey cornbread with 
corn kernels out of a can drained into one combustion. Um, so I'm gonna just go ahead and uh, show y'all what I buy for my weekly meal prep while my family try to be nosy. Here we go, it was so hot outside, my edge is sticking up. Crazy. Juices, I really don't buy juices, but I do keep chocolate milk. After I work out, I like to drink chocolate milk if I don't drink my protein. And I normally keep, um, and I like it. I'm gonna start doing orange juice now. Um, just the whole vitamin C type thing, and that was the microwave for the bread. Oh, this is what it looked like just cornbread and corn. Put that in there for like 18 minutes. Um, and these are my snacks. I am a snacker, I don't know how I became one. But like on my way to my, from my first job to my second job, I like to just pop a snack while I'm driving to keep it moving. So these are like my treat snacks. I already had four today, so I can't have no more. These were okay, they were all right. These, I get most of my healthy snacks from Ross. These are nasty, but it wouldn't be nothing. It wouldn't be a problem for me to just you know, take a couple after I work out for protein purposes. Um, I also got these. I can't wait to try these. They like the other jalapeno ones. I got these from Ross as well for $2.49. And these are apple cinnamon puffs. They are for kids, but they were healthy. So I just go ahead and grab them because sometimes I have a sweet tooth and I, always, I don't always like to eat yogurt or fruit and stuff of that nature. As you can see, I love snacks. Yes, me, period. I got some of these so they can go with my sauce that I bought from Walmart. And I got these. Oh my God, these. Let me put y'all on game. All these have these for $2.49. The best. I mean, it reminds you of like the sweet and sour. I mean, this hot chili Doritos. And these I have just picked up two for my peanuts. I like a honey roasted, kind of any type of peanut, honey roasted, I eat them. So I went ahead and got those. Those were also at Ross, I think for $8.49. And then my last two fruits is grapes and blueberries. I don't normally eat the blueberries by themselves. I kind of put them in my smoothie. Um, and then tonight I'll just wash my fruit. I wash my fruit. Oh, and then all these is having a sale with mangoes, 39 cents. I just got me three dollars worth. I just put them in the refrigerator. And I also try to keep me tuna in the house. I'm gonna make tuna tonight um, because I'm trying to, I did carbs. Oh, these are my meatless dogs that I'm going to be adding to my beans to see how they taste. But like I was saying, I normally do tuna too because I want to do a protein week, no carb, protein, just protein and fruit this week. And we're going to go from there. But I'm going to show y'all my refrigerator and my freezer on how I keep my refrigerator clean. What I do when I do buy groceries, I clean my refrigerator out, throw all the old stuff out, throw all the old meal prep out that I don't eat. Um, and then with my freeze, I clean on my freezer, the meat that I don't want, I throw out as well. As far as dinner, this week I might do tuna for dinner, smoothie for lunch. I think I'm gonna do that. Something slight, something easy. All right, y'all. Oh, and also I am going to be, oh, I am going, Okay, I'm gonna be switching my lunch. I mean, I'm gonna be switching my YouTube over to sale Sundays or sale Saturdays. Um, I'm trying to do something new, trying to get my audience on some new things. I have a bunch of millennials as my audience and older people, and I wanted to basically 
I, on the weekends, now that the COVID is here, I don't work on the weekends, so I find myself a lot of times in stores, still buying stuff that's on sale, shopping, all this other stuff. So, um, I wanted to show you guys what I got. Macy's is having a big sale, ain't nobody tell me, but it's cool. Y'all ain't even gotta worry about it, it's all right. Somebody could at least told me, cash, you know what I'm saying, Macy's having a sale, because we could have went together. You know what I'm saying? But you don't do what I'm saying, do you? Anyway, don't worry about it. Let me show y'all this refrigerator and this freezer real quick. And then I'm going to show y'all what I got. Woo. Oh. All right. Here's the freezer. And I keep my food up here. My sweets right here. My bread and my noodles stuff right here. That's definitely not mine. Um, and then I have all my veggies up here. My meats down here is food, these peppers, and the pork list bites. I will definitely show y'all what that tastes like. Oh, and my meatballs. Oh, I also got, thank you. I also got cauliflower mac that I will be trying. Um, oh, shoot. Now, let me put y'all on game, because a lot of y'all not on game yet. You got some flavor for some wings. Walmart got these for $5. These are the best, and they are so hot, but they are the best. Okay, and that's my freezer. And then you have my refrigerator, which I already showed y'all, but condiments, milk and wine and alcohol. Then down below, you got stuff that I normally don't use. Here. You have my fruits, my mangoes, my lemons, my oranges, my apples, and berries. Here you have my onion, my celery, my green onion, my lettuce. I'm going to take that out. Then you have your grapes, your peaches, your other thing in the back. You have your pineapples, your yogurt, your strawberries, your juices, and your to-go box. And that is mm, pretty much it. Um, so I'm going to show y'all what I got on sale. Okay. First thing I got this dry fit type of crop i'm not trying nothing on it's not a haul but i do want to show you this crop nike dry fit so it's great for workout um with the stripe detail on the side i thought this was really cute as you could see it was 35 dollars i got it for 4.93 which is a great deal, that's 85% off. You can't beat that. And then I got this. Y'all, this was the best thing I ever bought in my life. With the Nike detail going across the slanted side with the Nike Pro on the, down the seams. This was um, $85, I paid $24.93. I saved 70%. So all in all, it was actually cheaper than that. Hold on, wait. Yeah, so all in all, I paid $32 and I saved $90.14. Um, so if you guys wanna see more ways on how I save money, it's time to buy a house, so I am very frugal, but I still want to have full of my bread. Um, so, yes, yeah, that is all. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know it's kind of spread out, two days spread out, but it's okay. Uh, let me add some water. And so, hope you guys liked it. I'm in the act of cooking because I have to try to eat before 8 o'clock, 7.30-ish. So, I'm trying to wait on my cornbread and my beans and my weenies to kind of cool. As that is cool, I'm going to be making my tuna. 
um but i did want to just hop on here make sure i start posting on sundays y'all need to please hold me accountable because i have not been posting on sundays but i am trying to be more consistent with this youtube um so if you want to see more videos i told you guys i am switching my con matter of fact i'm not gonna switch my content I don't know yet. I'm gonna think about it. But um, please comment, like, and subscribe to my channel. Like I stated in the beginning, um, please share my video, watch my videos. Um, I know I had a last video. Please go watch it. Didn't get that many views, but please go watch it. And be blessed. Peace and blessings, and stay six feet away. Bye. Bye. Yeah.